Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Now let's get started. A 15-year-old girl came to OPD, but complained of fever with severe pharyngitis and tonsillitis. Doctors suspected it to be streptococcal infection and prescribed ampicillin. The next day, the girl returned with maculopapular rash all over her body and posterior cervical lymphadenopathy. On examination there was mild splenomegaly. Blood test was taken and her blood smear revealed following finding. Tick, 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 tick. What is the diagnosis? Hurry up. The time is running. Tick, 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 tick. The answer is infectious mononucleosis or kissing disease or glandular fever. What is infectious mononucleosis? It is the infection caused by Epstein-Barr virus. It is more common in teenagers. Epstein-Barr virus usually accumulates in the salivary glands of the patient, hence it is called glandular fever. The infection is transmitted largely by saliva through kissing, which is common among adolescents, and that is why it is called kissing disease. Now let's see the pathogenesis. Epstein-Barr virus first infects the epithelial cells of oropharynx and salivary gland. Due to inflammation of B-cell migrate to subepithelial layer. Epstein-Barr virus acts attaches to B-cell by CD21 receptor, with HLA2 antigen as its core receptor. It expresses two antigen which helps in immortalization of B-cells. Latent membrane protein 1, which is expressed on cell surface and acts as growth receptor by activating NFK beta and JAK-STAT pathway. It also activates anti-apoptotic BC-2 layer protein. Epstein-Barr virus nuclear antigen 2 which activates host cell cyclin D, which increases the cell proliferation. Thus by this mechanism they transform normal B cell to atypical B lymphocyte and cause various lymphoproliferative disorder. Other condition caused by Epstein-Barr virus include. Benign condition include. Hairy cell leukopakia. Lymphoid interstitial pneumonitis. Malignant condition include. Burkitt's lymphoma. Nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Due to consumption of salted fish containing nitrosamine. Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Liam Yasukoma and AIDS. Clinical features are fever, severe sore throat, tonsillitis, cervical lymphadenopathy, hepatosplenomegaly and rashes after penicillin therapy. Genoti Crossi syndrome by Epstein-Barr virus. A symmetrical rash on cheeks with multiple erythematous papules, which later coalesce into plaques and persists for 15 to 50 days. Moving on to investigation. Peripheral sphere shows atypical lymphocytes which are larger in size with eccentric folded nuclei. Serological test. It is used to demonstrate the heterophile antibody produced by overactivation of B cells. 1. Colbonell test. Sheep red cell agglutinate in the presence of patient's blood. 2. Monospot test. Horse red cell agglutinate in the presence of patient's blood. Elicit. It is used to demonstrate specific antibody against Epstein Barr virus. Antibody against viral capsid antigen and Epstein Barr virus nuclear antigen. Any condition that present with triad of pharyngitis, cervical lymphadenopathy and atypical lymphocytosis, then the mostly the answer is infectious mononucleosis. Coming to treatment. There is no specific treatment. It is treated symptomatically. That's all for today. Hope you have learned something new. Hit the subscribe button and turn post notification on. Now for today's question. What is Duncan syndrome? Comment down the answers below. We will catch up in next video until it's bye from Dr. Harrison.